Welcome to the mat. I'm Brett Larkin. This beginner morning yoga routine is designed to make you feel your best. Let's come to an all fours position to begin. So shoulders over wrists, hips over knees, spread the palm nice and wide, and then just say good morning to your spine. <laughs> Curl the toes under, broaden across the chest, slide the shoulder blades back, finding this cow position. And then as you exhale, deeply round, you're making an upside down rainbow Halloween cat shape. Gaze at your navel. It's okay to lean a little bit back on the shins, flowing through this on your own. I like to take nice big shoulder rolls here, broadening the chest. Abs are slightly engaged for my cow. And exhale, look at your navel. Really think of your tailbone tucking underneath you. Pull the navel towards the ceiling. A few more times. I like to rock a lot in the morning, so adding kind of a rocking motion to my cat cow. Just doing whatever feels good for you. Finding that slowest, deepest in breath. And your most complete exhale as you round chin into chest. And for the last few moments here, allow yourself to get funky. This is often called disco cat. Just make some circles with the hips, circles with the head. No way to do this wrong. Just let your body move and work out the tension that accumulated overnight as you were sleeping. Rocking side to side. One of my students calls this disco cat. And I love that because we're just taking cat cow and making it a little weird. Huge exhalation. <sighs> Beautiful. Next breath in, curl the toes under, press into your palms and send your sits bones high to the ceiling, downward facing dog. Bend the knees deeply, ears in line with the biceps. Slowly straighten one leg and then the other. Good morning, hamstrings and pedal out the feet. It's all right if your heels don't touch the ground in downward facing dog, just yearn them towards the floor. The goal is just to feel a nice juicy stretch on the back of the legs. See if you can find a three count inhalation. Belly ribs, chest, exhaling fully. Sighing out the mouth is perfect. One more huge breath. Exhale, let all the tension go. Walk your hands towards your feet. Take your feet wider apart. So maybe they're even as wide as your sticky mat. Bend the knees generously. Clasp the hands at the nape of the neck and just hang. So you're tractioning out the neck, chin, move slightly towards the chest. Head is heavy like a bowling ball. Knees generously bent. Release the head, bend the knees deeply. Begin to roll up one vertebra at a time. So imagine your heads, this bowling ball, it's the last thing that's gonna come up. Round through your low back, mid back, upper back. Really take your time with this. Inhale, reach the arms to the left and right of the room. Greet the day now. Huge breath in. Exhale, palms touch above your head and trace that center line till the thumbs come to heart center. Gorgeous. Again, inhale, reach up. Big inhale, exhale, trace, center line, thumbs to sternum. Once more, finding your breath cadence. So the arms circle around the same length it takes you to breathe in and descend in sync with your exhale. Let's do that one more time. Beautiful, turn to face me, inhale, reach the arms up. And this time, keep the arms up. We're just gonna do some little stretches. So bend the same knee as the arm that you're reaching and do a little reach. And then opposite, reach, bend that knee, reach. You can take the opposite hand to the hip, reach. And this is almost coming into a side body bend, reach. Reach, you can close your eyes once you've kind of got the rhythm of the movement. You're shifting the weight on the feet. 
should feel really good. And then inhale, reach the arms up, bring the feet closer together, toes to touch. I dream of genie arms, so stack the palms and ground. Chair pose, shift the weight into the heels, squeeze the inner thighs together and hold here. If you look down, you should be able to see your big toes. Couple more breaths, grounding after all that reaching, finding your strength for the day. Beautiful, inhale, reach up. Take a wide stance on your mat now. So a nice big wide stance on your sticky mat. I want you to mirror me. So you're gonna take your right toes forward, left toes a little bit in, sink into a warrior two. Front knee over front ankle, sensing into your body. And then keep the lower body really stable here. And just make this motion with me with the arms. You're just gonna take the elbows back and then cross the forearms in front. Draw the navel in, so strong core. You're in this beautiful warrior two stance, but finding this stretch in the shoulders. Elbows fling back and then cross, cross. And you can add a breath pattern to this. Whatever feels good for you. Beautiful, now straighten the leg. Triangle pose, if you wanna to heel toe that back foot in, reach with the right arm, right hand comes to right shin, left arm reaches up, look towards the ceiling. A few deep breaths. Lengthen your tailbone towards your back heel. Think of gathering and drawing your abs up and in. One more huge breath. And slowly coming up, turning right toes in, left toes out, finding your warrior two on the other side. So stabilizing in the lower body, lengthening the tailbone down, drawing the abs up. Take a moment to find your strength here. And then inviting in the joy, the activation as you start your day. Legs, arms go back and forward. <sighs> So we're stretching the shoulders here. We're stretching the mid back. A couple more. Find your fullest range of motion. Beautiful, and then come back to stillness. Straightening that front leg, heel toe the back foot in. Triangle pose, nice big stretch for the left leg and palm to ceiling. Couple breaths here. Mm, slow your breathing down so we find the activation, the joy, the movement. Now really sinking into the stretch. Mm, slowly coming up. Toes in, heels out. So you're slightly pigeon-toed, hands to hips. Inhale, little back bend, stretching the spine. Exhale, fold forward. Big stretch for the backs of the legs. Line up your fingertips with your toe tips if you can. You might feel a stretch on the outer shins here. Couple deep breaths, let the head and neck go. Totally release. Sigh it out. And then turn the right toes out again. Walk your hands over to the right. So this could look like a stretch that's up here. Or for some of you, you might come all the way down. It doesn't matter. The goal is just to find a really juicy stretch in the extended, the straight leg. You want to make some little circles with the torso over here. You can. Staying more upright. You can kind of move your booty in space to see where you're gonna find that delicious stretch in the leg. And let's take it over to the other side. Slow your breathing down. Really looking for that deepest, fullest breath. Inhaling the belly puffs out, exhaling, cinching the waist, the pelvic floor, everything in. 
beautiful. Walk back to a downward facing dog. So walk your hands to the top of the mat and just see how your down dog maybe feels a little different than when we started practice. Pedaling through the legs. Bend the knees, gently place your knees to the floor. Sit off to one side. Come to a butterfly position or a cross-legged seat. So whatever allows you to just feel most comfortable. Cross-legged seat, we're just gonna take some big circles with the torso, stretching into the hips and the low back. Other way. And butterfly pose, same thing. It's just a, makes the stretch a little deeper, a little more intense. Switch directions if you haven't. Slowing everything down. And then ending with a nice big lateral stretch. So right hand to the ground, left arm up and over in cross legs, you know. Adaptation one, just stay in cross legs. If you want to lengthen the leg as well, go for it. So your choice deep breaths use the right hand to press into the floor spiral your heart to the ceiling and ideally you're feeling a huge stretch along the side body and also in the right hamstring mirroring me beautiful take it to the other side staying in cross legs or extending the left leg this time right arm up and over pressing into the left hand for support, spiral heart to ceiling. Feel the shoulders kiss together, shoulder blades slide together on the back. Returning to center as you're ready, bringing your hands to prayer at heart center. Your practice is complete. From my heart to yours, namaste.